AMC. Them people who went to that theater, they know what they got themselves into. You ain't got to put out some little rules to police niggas. Black folks know how to act. Stop it. It's annoying. Welcome back to Same Old Gossip Reheated. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Now, if you're looking for a hot new game, telling you, go to withoutgoogle.store right here, right here. If you're looking for a gift, withoutgoogle.store. We've got 21 days left of Christmas, 21 days until you playing a game with the fam, all that. Let's have some real fun this holiday season. This holiday season, yeah, because we still have New Year's after Christmas. So, let's get off into this topic. Now, Beyonce, Beyonce, she comes out with the movie, the Renaissance movie, right? Of course, we've seen her tear down this summer with the Renaissance tour, all the silver, all the mute challenge and everything else. So this weekend, the movie rolled out and made $22 million. She topped it off and was at number one. And then here comes the weird part. <laughs> AMC puts out like a list of just stuff that they, they said helpful tips. You get what I'm saying? Helpful tips. And they were just basically saying, don't get up dancing, don't block anybody. If your hat is obstructing the view, take it off. Or don't wear wings that may be obstructing the view of other people. And, you know, they just had all these rules that people weren't feeling because people were just saying, because now, you know, we in this world where we got to compare, like, people to our greats, you get what I'm saying? So... They've been trying to compare Taylor Swift to Beyonce and like, you know, so many people have mics nowadays that they get to actually act as if they are the same or on the same level when it comes to like this talent thing. Now, when it comes to like numbers and all that that's out there, then yeah, she probably can compete. And she is competing because, you know, she does have a fan base. I'm not saying that she doesn't. But I'm just saying, not compared to one of our greats like Beyonce. But people were saying, did sh did they have all these rules when Taylor Swift's people came through? Because here they go right here and doing the same exact thing that they are accusing Beyonce fans to do of doing. Nobody gave them a set of rules and they going just as him as any of the Beyonce uh, supporters would, would be. Now I understand. Now listen, I understand both sides, right? Because if there's someone in there who just wants to enjoy the movie and, uh, you know, don't want to hear all the extra, yeah, 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 and all that, that can be disturbing. But at the same time, these group of people flock to that concert and them same group of people are going to flock to these theaters. These people are all excited. They're kind of all on the same energy level going in there. They hype, they pump. Hey there, trivia lovers. Get ready to embark on a journey through black entertainment culture, sports, and fashion. Can you answer these questions that'll take you back in time? Question one, in the world of music and entertainment, What's the name of Beyonce's first solo tour? It was the unforgettable Dangerously in Love tour. Question two. In the realms of music and fashion, can you recall the song Tupac performed at the Versace fashion show? It was the legendary California Love. Question three. Turn into the sports arena. How many games did the legendary Kobe Bryant play during his NBA career? It was an astounding 1,346 games. Question four. In the world of cinema and family fun, what was the name of the amusement park in the movie Bebe's Kids? It 
If you guessed Fun World, you are correct. Get ready to challenge yourself, family, and friends as you dive into a world of trivia. Visit withoutgoogle.store to get your own trivia game today. It's your passport to a world of knowledge and fun. They want to see their beloved Beyonce. They the beehive. They So when they go in there, they know what to expect. I'm not expecting nobody's, you know, 98-year-old grandma to go in there and just, you know, expect silence out of the whole crowd. That's that's not going to happen. You get what I'm saying? Now, what I don't know is, I don't know, because I don't know if um, anybody got into fight at any of these concerts, but I didn't hear about anybody getting into no scuffles or no shootings at Taylor Swift's concert or Beyonce's concert. So why the rules for the black folks? Because you know her audience is predominantly black that's going to come to those theaters. So the niggas got to get extra policed. Hey, I'm just putting it out there. Here goes some rules. Don't, you know, don't mess up our theater. And it's like nobody was planning on messing up y'all's theater. We're going to come. We're going to have a good time. And we're going to leave just like those Swifties did. You didn't hear nothing about them tearing up the theater. And you seen them jumping around and running down the aisles and screaming. And ah, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't a great experience for anybody who was sitting in there with them. If they wanted it, just come and enjoy this movie. So I understand both sides, but don't be just, don't, don't try to police black folks about a music movie. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I want to, you know, I'm going to watch the movie the way I watch the movie. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure when it got time to sit down and get quiet and sh Beyonce was talking, them folks sat down. When them songs came on, them folks jumped up. When, the, when she started talking, they sat down. Song come on, jump up. I'm pretty sure they kept repeating that. Who's going to be in the movie theater? Beyonce's giving this whole monologue 10, 20 minutes. They said that out, the movie is two hour and 40 something minutes or two hours and 30 something minutes or something like that. Who's going to be up there 15 minutes of her just talking monologue and somebody's going to be up in there talking about you can't break my soul out of just out of order. That's not going to happen because if somebody was standing up doing that, yeah, that would cause uh, frustration from somebody else. But these people know how to act around each other. They just went to the concert with each other and there was no, extraness going on now don't get me wrong i'm not in every nook and cranny of the world i'm pretty sure there were mishaps that happened at both concerts because uh white folks get it on with them beers and in them stands too <laughs> they get it on just as much as anybody else so amc them people who went to that theater they know what they got themselves into you ain't got to put out some little rules to police niggas. Black folks know how to act. Stop it. It's annoying. And then on top of that, see, and then, well, here come my thoughts and how I kick in. is because you are going to support Beyonce, right? And I don't know. I don't know. The reason, what I'm about to get at is just like, you are going to support Beyonce, but Sometimes the middleman need to be cut out. And all, like they said, the movie theaters are struggling so much. They like having Netflix stuff go in the movies. Like, oh, you can go watch your Netflix here. So if they're struggling, why are you policing? Why are you policing anybody? Just let us come and enjoy this movie. And then I was just going to say, like, how can Beyonce get it to her fans? Because, I mean, you have links and like, oh, I got a built in link. You know what I mean? But you just got to build a better link. <laughs> Once it's shared to anybody or any kind of way, it dies. Just so your fan, and, but then you got people who going to dub it and then put it out. Either way, it's going to get leaked. You know what I mean? Because they like, oh, <laughs> rambling a little bit. But they, one of the other rules on there, they were saying, oh, don't, don't film the movie in today's society. I understand what you mean by bootleg, but that joint being bootlegged, it's a good copy ready to download somewhere in, on, on this planet. And it's up on one of these torrents already. Reddit, it's up somewhere. 
You know what I mean? So just keep that disclaimer to yourself. Ain't nobody trying to run amok, but and ain't nobody trying to just sit up there and record this. How can you record it? <laughs> we up in here jamming. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you know. You know, you be wanting to keep your dollar. And to me, I would. Uh -uh. I wouldn't go spend my dollar in another AMC if my life depended on it. You know what I'm saying? Them. They want to police black folks. Let them suffer. Let 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 the movie industry die. Especially with the with let the movie theater industry die. Let it go. I know we like nostalgia and having like, oh, the movie experience. F it. They don't want your dollars and you don't want them to be policing you. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that PayPal, hit that Cash App, or just go buy without Google. If you made it to the end, drop like a little movie something, like the little clapper or something in the, in, in the comment section. See you later.